Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are keep going on uh, question 2a, a uh, big description about Turkey situation. But the uh, focus, okay, look at the question, okay. Outline why there is concern over the central bank's uh, monetary policy, interest rate and the supply of money, right? Just this uh, monetary policy. Look at the paragraph, which part give you some insight. Policy. Just the first part, some policy. What did the central bank do? Did? Uh, they uh, decreased the interest rate from 14 to 13 when it has a high inflation, okay? So it is a concern about the central government's, uh, central bank's uh, monetary policy because uh, you should say because uh, in high to cope with a uh, high inflation, we should uh, increase uh, the interest rate. But uh, the Turkish government, uh, on the contrary, decreased it uh, from 14% uh, to 13%. It might uh, worsen the inflation. So it is the concern by the other peoples, okay? Okay, so look at it, okay? And then uh, next one is another question, okay? Yeah, for part six, okay, using an exchange rate diagram, explain how uh, relatively high rates of uh, inflation, high rates of inflation, okay? It's not key to affect the exchange rate for the Turkey is near, okay? High inflation, how to affect it? So first of all, draw the diagram out first. Okay, I remember demand and supply. Okay, demand and supply, but now it's about the currency. Okay, lower is the yeah Turkey's uh, yeah. Remember copy wise. Okay. And the vertical one is the other currency over Turkish currency. So I have to have to draw so <laughs> so I draw here. So other currency over Turkish there. If we go up and then it is the appreciation of lira and it go down it is a depreciation. It is the demand for the Turkish currency, it is a supply okay. So what happens uh, if there's an inflation? Okay, remember if it has an inflation, so the local product will be relatively expensive, right? Inflation, right? Local products price or will be relatively expensive relative to a foreign thing, okay, because you have inflation, okay. Expensive. So uh fewer demand from foreign, right? Fewer foreign demand on it, okay? Yeah, expensive, don't want to buy your thing, okay? Demand on it, okay? So, uh, the foreigner doesn't need to uh, buy so many uh, lira to buy the local products, right? So, no need uh, to buy uh, so much lira by a foreign people. So much uh, lira. Ah, so the demand for labor uh, jobs, okay? Remember, labor are uh, jobs, then then go to the left hand side. Okay? Remember to label it, so you have two D, so one is D1 and the other is D2, okay? For percentage, jobs are from uh, D1 to D2. Uh, maybe you, uh, for Guava, you shouldn't say job, you should say uh, uh, ship to the left, okay? Shift to the left, okay. So from here you can see ah, uh, so the currency of lira drops from a E one to E two, okay. So depreciate, depreciate. Remember label it, label it say here from a E one to a E two. That's it. Okay, so ah. Uh, Depreciation, depreciation. So sometimes, even if you forget the theory, you don't memorize the result, but you do it slowly, step by step, you can do it too. Like me, right? We can do it. 
be confident about your knowledge of economics. Okay, you learn a lot already. Sometimes maybe you forget the exact diagram for this one, but you can uh, use your knowledge to derive it during examination. So relax, okay? Okay, see you.